So now I'm going to walk you through doing a biopsy procedure using Navigus. The first step in a biopsy procedure is we want to set a surgical plan. So to do so, we'll come into our images here. We're going to scroll through, and here we want to click inside the tumor in your target area. And once you have your target defined, you just simply come in and select set target. Then you want to do the same thing for your entry point. So typically what I do is I identify my entry point on the 3D model. So I can come in here and click, and then I can modify in any of the other planes as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit set entry. And here you'll see that a surgical plan has been identified. Now what I can do is I can hit go to entry, and I can actually scroll through my plan to see the anatomy that I'm going to be going through. Once I'm happy with that surgical plan, the next step is to come in and bring in the Navigus probe. And you'll notice that my views have switched to trajectory views and a probe's eye view. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to align my Navigus probe perpendicular to the skull at my planned entry point. And what that's going to do, it's going to identify an angle to plan so that I can identify whether or not I want to use the straight Navigus base or the angled base. So anything between 0 and 10 degrees, the straight base will be just fine. Anything between 5 and 25, we recommend using the angled base. So here, I'm holding it perpendicular to the skull, and it says my angle to plan is about 10 degrees. So I'm going to stick with my straight base. So at this point, um, I would go ahead and make a burr hole and attach the Navigus base here. Once I have that done, I'm going to take the guide stem and snap that into place. And then what you want to do is take the locking ring and tighten it down just enough so that you get purchase and you can still move the guide stem. The Navigus probe fits right down in the guide stem. And at this point, what you want to do is get that target alignment error as small as possible. Ideally, what you're looking for is anywhere under two degrees. You'll notice that when I get within two degrees, this guidance view is going to get brighter so that you can actually see it and, that, and know that you are within that two degrees. So once I get down, I'm going to tighten my locking ring. So here you'll see that our target alignment error is about 1.5. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the foot switch. And then it's going to give me this tip stop point down at the bottom. So it's going to tell me 117.6 millimeters. So at this point, I'm going to align my biopsy needle, the center of that cut window, to 117 millimeters. I'm going to tighten down the stop. I'm going to select the 2.2 millimeter reducing tube that fits right down that guide stem. And then pass my biopsy needle right down. So the nice thing about our software is that it gives you visualization in all planes. So these two blue lines here indicate exactly where the cut window is versus the tip. And in addition here, you see that gray box indicates your cut window with the yellow line indicating where the target is that you've identified previously. So as I scroll through and pass the needle. So at this point, after you've placed your biopsy needle, you can go ahead and aspirate and send the sample off to pathology.